Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. Today, in this video, we'll be taking a look at a brand new version of WinLater, and this is supposed to be the best performance update of WinLater Android. Now, this is not the official WinLater Android, this is an fork version of WinLater, as you'll be able to see on its official GitHub page. It is supposed to be 19 commits ahead of the original WinLater Android, so it has brand new features. And if we just go ahead and scroll down, you'll be able to see some normal WinLater stuff. But in the releases section, you guys will be able to see that WinLater 7.1.1 with native Glyphc has been added which means that the performance in win later will increase by a lot after this update it is 7.1.1 and i think this will also be implemented in the normal version of win later in its next updates anyways you guys will be able to see that box 64 is present box 86 has been completely removed few new dxvk versions have been added and also fixed path for dxvk configuration fixed path for virgil so virgil is now working inside this emulator which is pretty amazing fixed keyboard input issues and much more now the developer has said that before adding this version of winlater android you'll need to uninstall the old builds or else it won't work properly so make sure that you uninstall the older versions of winlater and afterwards we have just opened the winlater glyphc on our android devices and let's wait until it has been set up we'll also check out its performance later on in this video so be sure to watch the full video hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i'll be testing out games like gta 5 god of war in future anyways the first thing which is the most major thing which I noticed is that it is using the latest wine 9.13 now even in horizon emulator we only get wine 9.7 but in win later now we are getting the latest wine 9.13 as it is way more optimized and it is even compatible with wow 64 in terms of box 64 version we have default version 0.3.1 as well as 0.28 i'll keep it at default for today's video and in terms of preset we'll set it to performance we have also gotten trigger controls so we'll set it to as axis which is by default once that has been done let's start off by creating a brand new container now we'll get lot of customization for example in graphics driver you can choose either turnip or virgil if you are using mali gpu i recommend you guys to go with virgil once that has been done in terms of dx wrapper you get 1.10.3 2.3.1 which is set by default and that's what we'll be using for today's video we also get the gplay sync 2.4 as well as 2.4 which you can try out with newer games i think so once you set the dxvk configuration just go ahead and tap on the ok button and in terms of dx wrappers you also can choose wine d3d let's say if your device has Mali GPU or uh, VK D3D etc. And if you choose Gplay Sync 2.4, you can also enable asynchronous as well as asynchronous cache to get better FPS. Well, I'll test it out in spare time, but for today's video, we'll go with 2.3.1 and let's tap on the OK button. Let's enable show FPS, audio driver as pulse audio, and video memory size will be set as 4GB. Once that has been done, let's go to advanced. Here, preset is performance. Wow 64 has been tick marked by default and everything has been tick marked in terms of processor affinity. So now that we have created our container, let's just go ahead and tap on the run button and see what win later glyphc is all about. And there we go instantly emulator booted super fast like seriously it used to take like 1 to 2 minutes to boot but this was very quick to be honest and I'm also noticing the file manager icons have changed by a little bit so let me focus you guys will be able to see the UI looks a bit better now which is pretty cool and if we just go ahead and open the start option you'll be able to see that the language is not English so you'll need to wait till the official win later android update if you want to read the settings in English but for now it gets the work done so I'm not really complaining we'll just go ahead and open wine configuration and here you will be able to see windows 10 has been selected so it is just like any other win later it doesn't really matter once you're done setting everything up the final thing to do is just to launch any game of your choice which you want to test out inside the win later glyphc to see how does it perform also a quick tip if your games are crashing inside this emulator then you can choose the older version of box 64 which is the 0.2.8 as it is more stable you can select between rts as well as virtual gamepad i'll go with rts now this is where i actually miss the other folk versions of win later like win later frost which provides custom on screen touch controls but there we go as you guys can see pal world has successfully started so yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button if you want to see gameplay test of win later glyphc on my channel in future anyways i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching goodbye